Okay, let's go through the steps required to download and install the S3 Auto Trader. First, we need to determine what trading time zone Sierra Chart is using. Now, you may be trading in one time zone and you live in a different time zone. The Auto Trader wants to know the time zone that Sierra Chart is using. Now, I live in the central time zone, but I'm trading in the New York time zone or Eastern time zone. So let's go see how you determine that. You go into your platform, go to Global Settings, Data, Trade Service Settings, and you'll see over here the time zone is New York or Eastern Standard Time. Next, we want to purchase the S3 Auto Trader at ForgivingComputers.com. So we go to our web browser, go to ForgivingComputers.com, scroll down, click here to see the S3 Selective Scalping System for Futures. Now here's an explanation of the system. Basically there are several bundles available and they're all customized for your time zone. If you have another time zone you need, let me know in the contact form and I'll build it for you. No charge. So I'm in the Eastern time zone. We're going to do 99 purchase and we'll go to checkout. Here you see your shopping cart. If you click too many or you want to change your mind, you can remove. You fill in your information for PayPal purchase and you click purchase, which I'm not going to do. And you'll end up with a page like this and you'll see the download links down here. Okay, these, these here. So what you want to do, you'll also receive them in an email. We're going to save these in our download folder. Okay. And I'm right clicking on link and do save link as. This is Firefox. Uh, it's similar in other browsers. Okay. So we've just did the download. Okay, the next step, we need to know where we're going to put these files. Okay, now Sierra has a location where it wants these files. So we go to Global Settings, General Settings, and the Data Files folder is this path here. Now this may be different on your computer. My broker adds a folder underneath. But they all end in data. So when I say the data folder, it's the path that Sierra uses for all of its charts, chart books, and other information that's part of your system. Okay, now we're going to extract the files and we want to put them in that location. Okay, now Windows uses compressed folders, which are the same as zip files. Uh, you can use the extract all tool and you put in the path where you want, to, want it to go and say extract. And now if I have files of the same name, I'll just replace them. Now you probably don't have them yet. Okay. 